probably gonna be a crazy different looking video because I don't have the tripod. I'm building the podcast studio right now. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like these videos I do. Sorry, this one's gonna be an anomaly. One thing we are thinking about doing in the future is possibly developing a podcast. If you'd like that, please leave a comment or let me know in the Facebook group or on the YouTube channel in a video if you'd like to see me do podcasts and however I go about doing it, I've still gotta think about if there's a space for me. Today's course I'm gonna be talking about is Antelope Greens. It's a course I played with my grandpa. I love the course a lot. I think it has some of the best holes in Northern California. It's just on a small piece of property. So it's something you should know. You can play the course for 15 to $20 on pretty much most days. The pro shop is a bar, which that's kind of awesome if you think about it. And it's just a great, fun, enjoyable round of golf. If you want to play like a luxury golf place, this place is not for you. It has a replica of TPC Sawgrass's 17th hole as the seventh hole, which is pretty tight. The back nine is pretty much just thrown together. The greens are way faster than you would think for an executive nine hole course or 18 executive course. And it's just really, really enjoyable. Like as a kid, I really enjoyed it. If you have young kids and you want to share the game with them, this is a pretty sick place to both build a bond with them and learn the game of golf. Can't speak highly enough. If you go out there with a good attitude, you are going to love Antelope Greens. First hole. This is a hole that when I was a kid, I used to dream about pro golfers playing on, and now it seems silly because it's just a short course. But this is a really fun course in Sacramento. This opening hole is about 150 yards straightaway hole. Missed it out a little to the left, but check this out. I've been struggling with my 60 degree wedge, so I tried to just work on it here. Not the best chip, but that really ran out more than I'd expect. So credit to the greenskeepers and the superintendent at Antelope Greens for taking pride because these greens run well. Really ran that by, knocked it in. And if you notice, you boys got a tripod for this vlog. So shout out to me. Second hole, par four. Basically, don't miss right, but if you miss left, you can put it in the water. Missing right puts you in the wilderness. This used to always be kind of a hole that I wanted to play well as a kid, and I never did. I always ended up in those bushes. Now, as an adult, I think the miss is more to my left. The water really had a good yardage in, hit a 60-degree wedge, and I flew the green, which... Definitely disappointing for that, but at the same time, didn't really put a lot of thought or time into each shot. Just kind of played as quick as possible to kind of try to love the game. Little field chip here, misread the greens. Found it very hard to read these greens. Not sure why, but I remembered they were a lot straighter from the last time I played it, and they had a little break, and I always misread them. And really working on my putting, sink the putt, get up and down, that's a par. This is what it looks like going to the third hole, kind of brings back memories right here. Just just a little gap wedge, I think that was either a gap wedge or a sand wedge. I just put it on the green, just a little short. The wind is really whipping if you can hear that, it's really, really going. Just misread it and watching the video, it actually broke the way that I started my line on and knocked it in for par. This is such a cool hole. If I ever made a golf course, I'd replicate this hole. It's about 60 yards. I've got a 60 degree wedge. I hit it great. It was into the wind and I still flew it into this stuff. It's such a delicate shot. Just had to smack it out of there. And then this kind of sucks. I That's where my ball ended up. I two putted from there, but my tripod actually fell right here. You'll see it in a second. And it actually kind of messed my phone up. So shout out to the wind for doing that. It actually made a little crack. Next hole we're going to be looking at is, it's basically just a plain Jane wedge shot into this hole. Took a good little divot. Everything's going into the wind right here. And basically just had this for birdie. And man, were these greens good for what the price is. It's $15, and 
these greens really run well for the price. I don't think for your bang for your buck, I don't think you can get a better bang for your buck if you're trying to work on your short game because these greens were very, very good for the price. About 150 yard shot straight into the wind, just trying to knock something down. I think I had about a seven iron there, just trying to knock it down, run it up there. And this was kind of disappointing for me because this isn't a very hard chip. In hindsight, I just misread it, but hit the right feel. I just hit it on the wrong line, and this is just such a, a tough putt. Look at the cool bar in the background, too. That was just so frustrating just to miss that. Now, this is the iconic hole of this course and why I will always love it. So they have a replica, basically, of TPC Sawgrass. Now, check out, look at how bad my alignment is. Jeez, Lukey. Just basically planning on coming over the top. I got to work on my alignment, but got that up there. Was very nervous hitting that shot. This is what this looks like. So this is probably one of the coolest holes in the whole Sacramento area. Really, really cool. And I had this putt for the bird. Really whipping. And like everything on this day, just started on the wrong line. So just didn't really know the breaks. Didn't read the greens very well. Eighth hole, par four. Very basic. My driver has been terrible as of late. And um, yeah, so like these par three courses, my approach shots and driver have been bad. So this is a great place for me to work on things. Just a little, a low scooter. Didn't really hit that very well, but I got lucky. So this is what this looks like. Got behind this tree. You can't really see it, but I definitely had to kind of try to cut it. I feel like I felt like I was doing something that it doesn't look like I was doing on here, but it was actually a really good shot. Like that actually turned out way better than it should have. And this just looks really cool. And I like the visual of this and the autumn and yeah, that kind of sums it up. I thought I made a birdie. Thought I got a stroke back from that one hole and I didn't. Ninth hole and the end to the, probably my favorite part of this property, which is just such a cool course. Look at my alignment once again, really, really bad. Um, it's basically, I think that's what causes the snap hook. I'm looking in my pocket like I need to hit another ball just for fun. Ran out a little bit, short course, and then I just hit this little eight iron low runner. I wasn't even sure the yardage is, didn't have a yardage gun. Ran it over the green, but I was just working on shots. And then this was probably a great way to end the front nine. It's just like a little chip. You can get very creative here. Once again, I think I misread it or I hit it a little too hard. And then people on the channel had been kind of messing with me when I was just kind of taking some of these putts from this range as gimmies. So I'm just going to include me finishing out right from here, just working on keeping the putter on the train track, sink it. If you like this video, it would really help me out a lot if you hit the subscribe button, if you like the video, if you share it, and even if you leave a comment, we're trying to get the algorithm going, we're trying to get people enjoying this content, and also we're trying to spread awareness on golf courses, and if people just randomly Google a golf course, that they can just go to this golf course and see what the golf course is about, and hopefully, through my sheer honesty and sharing the golf course and my passion of the game, maybe a golf course you might not have wanted to try enters into your vocabulary or your desires for golfing and you venture out and try a course because to me golf is all about the exploration